Baxter, are you coming with us? It is 8 a.m., which is earlier than I'm usually up these days, but it's because we are going on a trip to Salt Spring Island. Kathleen. Yes. It's 10 to 9. Correct. I wanted to be here at 9, so we're actually ahead of schedule. Because the ferry leaves at... 10. 10. But for this ferry, there are no reservations. So you just got to get there early. It is first come, first serve. So, and I just want you to know that there is a Lapras that spawned, like a block, or maybe half a block from the house, and I didn't run out and get it because I knew it would have delayed us. Yep. That's what I gave up for this. We value your sacrifice. 31 for Salt Spring. Thank you. Thank you. Because we live on an island, it's a very large island, but because we live on an island, we have to take a ferry to get to a bunch of different places. In this case, another much, much smaller island, one of the Gulf Islands, the largest Gulf Island that's not our island. Islands in the Gulf, they're called Gulf Islands. We're going to a place called Salt Spring Island, we're taking a ferry to get there. It's not that ferry, that's the big ferry that goes to Vancouver. We're taking a smaller ferry. It should be fun. Let me explain that a little bit better. All the Gulf Islands are the islands between Vancouver Island, which is our island, and the mainland. And Salt Spring is the biggest and has the biggest town on it. And I don't remember the last time I've been there. I think I was very, very, very young. And Kathleen has never been there. And we wanted to just get away for the weekend, but somewhere that wasn't very far, somewhere, in, somewhere that didn't involve a plane, or an exhaustively long road trip and luckily we have that option because when you get on a boat and you go to a different island you definitely feel like you're further away than you actually are so this works out well BC Ferries is how we're gonna get there BC Ferries or British Columbia Ferries is the one of the largest if not the largest ferry service in the world normally we take it from here to Vancouver but today we're gonna be taking a smaller ferry from here Schwartz Bay to Fulford Harbor, which is the stop on Salt Spring Island. We ask that you park yeah. within yeah. 24 inches or 60 centimeters of the car in front of you. This will improve the chances of the cars behind you making it on board. Thank you, we appreciate your cooperation. Unlike the Victoria Vancouver Ferry, this crossing is a civilized 35 minutes, and as you can see from the boat, this is why when I started playing Alan Wake, I was like, is this set on the Gulf Islands? And it was, but the American Gulf Islands. We literally just passed a sign for a video production lab. <laughs> so I guess, I guess uh, if we wanted to move out here, there's already competition. I'm gonna interrupt my own vlog here with a story that I promise you will be relevant shortly. In high school, I went to Oak Bay High, which at the time was a huge school of two buildings, and there was a vice principal in each building because we were all artsy theater kids, 
we mostly dealt with the one in the West Building, which was Mr. Rathbone. Now, he was doing his job. But to us, at the time, of course, he was the bad guy. Only partially because his voice was also the one that they used for the robotic phone system that would call home and tell your parents that your son or daughter has missed one or more classes today. So that, combined with boredom, and the fact that our grad class had done basically nothing of note in terms of grad pranks, they got a tire over the flagpole, which I guess is impressive from an engineering standpoint, but basically nothing had happened. We decided that something should be done. And Mr. Rathbone kept in his office, on the floor beside his desk, a large, plush dog. I think its name was Bentley or Bartleby or something. And his office, the way that the office was laid out, had a back door. And so one lunch hour, we decided to take matters into our own hands. <laughs> yes. See, he's gonna eat his arms in a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Shit falls. <laughs> run! 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 Freedom! Jesus got shot. The uh, soundtrack for the version of this that I edited at the time was the uh, Scooby Snacks song by Fun Loving Criminals, because of course it was. <laughs> Bingo! Oh god. Yes! Where is it? Let me see. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> oh, I'm very proud of myself right now. Yes! Where did you go? Where are we going? I don't know. After some time, we returned the dog, and we got away with it, because I mean, it's, no one saw the video until grad, and at that point, what are you supposed to do to us? But imagine my surprise when, upon arriving on Salt Spring Island, who do we find running the full-service gas station in Ganges but Mr. Rathbone, who not only remembered and recognized me, but immediately pinned this dog escapade on me. Which, you know, in my defense, I merely filmed and helped mastermind. I didn't directly... I blame Duncan is what I'm saying. I have a special alumni offering for you. Oh. Come on in, I'll give you free ice cream. Free ice cream? Free ice cream. How long did we keep it for, like a week? At least that. And it yeah. visited a number of different we, locations we during sent, that time. We sent a series of photos under the door to That's your right. office. That's of right. it, That's in different right. places around the town. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't so much that it was gone, it was it was the uh, resulting counseling for trauma that took three or four years. So it wasn't the week as much as the, you know, the ongoing counseling. It is the day of the Salt Spring Summer Market, which means that parking is Ridiculous is hopping. It's popping off. Insofar as a market in Ganges can pop off. market has been really cool. It's very hot out and the market is super busy, but there's lots of neat stuff. I got a carrot cake cookie. So they say it's a cookie. It's basically two carrot cake muffin tops with the frosting in the middle, which is a mustache owner 
basically makes carrot cakes edible, which is nice. And we got some local fruits and some crafts, as one does. And uh, it's only five to two. We can't even check into our B&B for an hour, so I think we're gonna go to a thrift store. A, always, A, attend, B, baby, always attend baby, always attend baby. These are things you'd never care about until you're a parent, but we are zero for three on the day for diaper change tables with liners. They're just gone. They stopped existing sometime in the 80s, I guess. Diaper change table liners have returned to their home planet. What have we learned in our time on Salt Spring Island thus far? Well, there is a pub and a grocery store and a gas station and, you know, some number of businesses that have employees. But generally speaking, Everybody on the island works for themselves. Making crafts or honey or... Crafts or, yeah, foods or... Clothes. Um, clothes or... Beads. Weeds. This is a gorgeous view, and we've been enjoying just sitting for a little while. It's very quiet up here, and now we're going to go and check out Salt Spring Brewery and get some dinner. Considering the brewery is supposed to be closed five minutes ago, they are packed in there. And I was able to get a growler of their Heather Ale, which I quite like. Do we want any pork? Well, I, we don't really have a way to take it home is the problem. There's a fridge at the B&B, &B, but we're not going straight back to the island, so then we'll just be leaving unrefrigerated pork in the car for hours? I love that there can exist a farmer's market roadside stall. There's just a fridge full of bacon. Pay for it on, on the honor system. There's like... There's, there's a lot of change there. There's notes stuck to the fridges that are like, you know... Hey, thanks for keeping going on the honor system. You know, faith and humanity restored, that kind of stuff. Dolphin. I feel like they could have come up with like something better than PFD Dolphin. Like literally the easiest one, PF Dolphin. We have a dinner reservation at 7.30 which is an hour and 15 minutes from now so we're killing some time in downtown Ganges which as it turns out is quite small. Bathroom's weird. Damn fine coffee.
This is the breakfast room. This is the bedroom. And this is the bathroom. Even though it's a bed and breakfast, not a bed and breakfast and bathroom, um, people gotta poo, so. <laughs> bathroom. It's the morning. We've just finished a phenomenal breakfast that was, because it's a bed and breakfast, so there's, you get the bed and you get the, <clears throat> the breakfast, and it was delicious. Two things, video blog wise, I've stopped using that microphone because there is a definite interference problem with it, and I lost a bunch of footage yesterday. So now I'm just using the onboard mic, which is a shame, because when that mic works, it gets beautiful audio. And when it doesn't, you just lose whole minutes for no reason, so F that. Uh, the second thing is, you might have noticed, maybe, that some of the footage looked a little different, because I have a new lens. I have the moment. gave it a shot and uh, yeah it's nice it wasn't uh, cheap but it was it's it's real good uh, today we check out in about 50 minutes and then we're gonna go around salt spring some more until we find a ferry to take us home Sells eggs. We got one on here. Five dollars a dozen. If it's all the webcams, you think about borrowing eggs, don't. We are on camera. Where's the camera? Oh yeah. You boy. Alright. And In, inside the egg cooler here? Yeah. The sign was like five dollars a dozen. Yeah. Also, we have installed a webcam, so if you're thinking about borrowing some eggs, think again. Wow. Yeah, I can't see the webcam anywhere, but I believe them. Or the sign that says we have installed a webcam was cheaper than the webcam. Probably that. Salt Spring Island, you often see around Victoria uh, bumper stickers on cars that say, hey, relax, you're on Salt Spring Island, or like, this isn't, you know, the city light, this is the island light, and stuff like that. I have never been honked at, aggressively passed, and tailgated as much as I have on Salt Spring Island, because I'm driving slowly because the roads are windy and I'm not familiar with it. People do not like that here. I don't think people are very friendly here to tourists. I think they're fucking sick of tourists. They probably just want to be left alone, except that so much of their industry relies on tourism. So they're, they're sort of stuck with us. This whole place, all of this, this is the honor system. This whole place, look how much money there is in the, <laughs> in the drawer there. This whole thing is honor system. This is a well-stocked shop honor system. Another quick pit stop for some $2 plums here. This one, yes, wow, these look great. That is a hefty number of plums. Thank you, place. Mm. Plum? Well, I'm driving, but I will. All right, what's this one? Place your bets. Uh, plums. Different, oh, yellow plums. Oh, I much mm. prefer red plums, so I'm All right. Nice. I'm good with the... Uh... Yellow sweet plums. Sorry plums, we already got plums. We were just barely able to bring ourselves to not purchase alpaca bean fertilizer. And organic horse compost. Yes. Because... If you don't got shit to sell, just sell some shit. Yup. So 
just like coming over, there's no reservations or anything. There's just a big old lineup. But unlike coming over, we don't pay. No, because, it's free to get off the island. Yeah. Once you're here, you, you gotta, gotta leave. you gotta leave. So they just charge you to come over. So that's good. Mm -hmm. And the road just terminates in the ferry terminal. Like you drive all the way down here and then the road just stops at the and then you in, fill the, in, the, in the ferry parking. You fill in the ferry parking and then yeah. you get on the ferry. So hopefully we get on the ferry. It doesn't look super full, so good luck. There's a us. lot of people behind us. Are there really? Yeah, it's going up the road now. Oh, well, we got here at the right time then. Yeah, I think if you're in one of the actual Spots, lanes, you're good. I think you're good. We're like partway through. We're like partway through the last lane. We're three cars back in lane 10 of 11, but okay. lane 11 is parking. Yeah, so we're in the last lane. I think we're okay. Well, we'll, we'll find, find out. out. If we don't make this, it's two hours until the next ferry. <laughs> Penelope did not have a great sleep last night. A uh, combination of things. New environment, new crib that she wasn't used to, different schedule. Also, she's teething right now, which, as a reminder, is parts of your skeleton moving through one another and uh, then sticking outside of your body. So, yeah, basically none of us got a great sleep last night. But she's in a much better mood now, and we have coffee. So, I wouldn't call it a restful getaway necessarily, but it was fun. I will say I never thought I'd actually get this much use out of the tripod having magnetic feet, but I've been using that a lot, and it's handy. Right now it's stuck to the wall. Yeah, right? It's surprising, isn't it? Everything on the boat is metal, so... We found it. The only time you're allowed to use that font. We got there. This turned into an impromptu poke walk because we were going down to Sydney Harbour and it turned out that there was a Dratini there which neither of us had, and now we do. Now we have a routine. So that's good. There's people throwing crab traps off the pier down here, which I had not seen before, so that's new and different. Now we're home after a pokey walk in Sydney, which is the town near where the ferry stops on our side. We went to a bakery to get a lemon meringue pie because why not? And we are now home and hanging out and watching Star Trek on Blu-ray because this has been a delightful, not necessarily restful like I mentioned earlier, but a delightful weekend.